on April 19th of 2020, it'll be the 25th anniversary of the Oklahoma City bombing. I have taken hundreds of students to the memorial on field trips. And on one of my trips, probably about almost 15 years ago, I purchased this coffee cup and I was using it this morning and I thought I would incorporate it into this video. And as you see the coffee going down, you see an image that becomes the symbol for the memorial. It is called the survivor tree. Dealing with acts of violence and terrorism is a difficult thing to do because sometimes the questions that students ask can be very difficult to explain. And, and what I mean by that is sometimes the easiest questions, the most simple questions, well, those can be very difficult to try to answer in a very short amount of time. And so the enormity of this, these events is very difficult sometimes to explain. Well, what I would like for you to do is look up some stuff about the Oklahoma City bombing. And I'd like for you to come up with five questions as you're looking at maybe some images. And maybe ask questions like, who was responsible for this act? Um, why was it on April 19th? Um, you know, as you look at the memorial, how come some of the chairs are large chairs and some of them are smaller? Um, you might want to look at some of the... Um, uh, parts of the memorial itself and how did those things become um, acts of healing and uh, comfort for many, many people? And what do those, uh, those symbols represent? So, okay, I look forward to reading your uh, five questions and your answers. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, you know how to get a hold of me. And uh, take care, guys, and um, I will see you later. Bye-bye.